everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be the last part of everything I've ever coloured updated 2022. Um, so I hope you enjoy the last part of the video. It could still be quite a long one because I've still got quite a few books and I've got my PDFs as well. Um, most of these books won't necessarily have loads and loads of pictures and there'll be some that will have quite a few in. There's also quite a few books I've just not come back to colour in in ages as well. So it is going to be what it is. Um, I'm hoping the lighting's okay. I've just drawn the curtain across because the sun is going to move over the table as I'm filming and we're just going to get a massive band of light in the middle. <laughs> and that's going to be annoying because you're not going to see it, see everything properly. So I'm hoping this is okay. So I'm going to start with this book, which um, I bought, I think, two years ago. And I finally coloured a picture in it this year. Um, and I really enjoyed coloring it as well. So it's called Ethno Spirit by Katerina Bobby, Bobby Arikina. I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right. But um, I decided to do, if I can find it, this one. Um, and I did do this one for um, the people of Ukraine. And it, this is a Ukrainian lady. <laughs> um, so she's wearing her traditional outfit. So... Um, yeah, I thought I'd put the Ukrainian flag in the background and these ribbons normally would be different colours. I think they have like red, green, blue, yellow, but I thought I would do them as the Ukrainian flag as well. So, um, yeah, I had a really fun time actually colouring this, but also it was, you know, for the people of Ukraine as well. So there, I did this literally the month that the war started there. So um, still sending lots of love and hope that they're able to, you know, get gain control completely of their country again which would be lovely but anyway so I have done one in here so I'm hoping to maybe come back and do some more because I really like this one for example because it's like a Roman um woman so yeah I'm hoping well why in lady yeah so I'm hoping to come back and do some more in in her book um as I say I've had it for a while <laughs> so that's ethno spirit Right, next I have got my books by Denise Collette. So I have Mermaids in Paradise and I have surprisingly done quite a few in here this year. I felt motivated to colour some in here, so I'm really pleased. I'm just checking at the, yeah. Okay, so I've done this one. Um, I'm not a huge fan of how my icebergs came out. It wasn't quite what I envisioned, but it is what it is. It still, it looks fine, but it's just not quite what I wanted and there is a little bit of stickles on her tail and oh on the walrus's oh no it's gel pen on the walrus's hat and I think she might have nope she doesn't have gel pen on her tail she just has some stickles there so there's that one and then I also did this one um and I got these like um it's like a, a powder that you put on and you wet it and it will basically it's got like an ink in it but it's also got like a pearlescent kind of shine to it as well it does bleed through paper like crazy though. So this is fine because this is single-sided and I really enjoyed doing this one. It was quite a simple one. I enjoyed putting the stickles and the, the glittery dots and things in the, her tail and the fins of the fish. Like it was just a really fun one. It was very simple to do, but it was a really fun one. And you can see what I mean by the bleed through on that. Um, so I also have this one. I think this was the first one I ever did in here and she's very stickily and um, water does get sucked up quite a lot in this paper this paper kind of you it will just dry out watercolors really quick so um yeah I have though I will still keep using them because I say this is single sided so it doesn't really matter how much you know water I use per se and then there's this one which I did a while ago as well and it's meant to be neat and kp as mermaids and this is just her hairstyle at the time it's completely different now but she had her hair that color um, and there's obviously some stickles on there. Just had to do it. Um, and then ooh, I have got this one, which I also think I did this year. Yes, I did. Because I got a sample of these three uh, metallic-y paints that you can see on their fins. So I thought actually they would be really nice to use. Um, so I thought I'd use them on this one with the mermaid tails in the water and... I think I used some of the Echo Line water colour just to put in the background. And it's quite interesting. I can see that some of this uh, paint has like smeared, like the metallic is smeared onto the water, which is quite interesting. 
anyway um again that one was quite simple to do really fun i, I quite like um a lot of these are quite simple and fun to do and as you can see the echo line paints they also tend to bleed through quite a lot i think that's everything i've done in here so yeah so i i think i did three pictures in this book this year which was pretty good going so i'm hoping to do some more because actually i really quite like this mermaid one now the next one is gnomes in the neighborhood which <laughs> i have not come back and covered anything in this year so um maybe as i'm looking through it now i will be inspired to color in in it maybe we will see I just don't find them as cute as the mermaids. I quite like the mute mermaids. So I have my ballerina one, which was really fun. And I used the Echo Line uh, pens to do the flowers because I wanted to test them. Because again, this is single sided, so it didn't matter. And they were okay. I haven't bought any more since, but yeah, there's some stickles and glitter, metallic paint, all that nice stuff that I like. Um, just checking. Oh, okay, I've got one here which is very stickily. I like the colour scheme. I did for that one. I think I did this all in ink tents because I thought there's no way I'm sitting there with pencil and colouring that tree bark. <laughs> and then I have this one, which I did for Valentine's Day. So I have some sort of glittery hearts that I painted in the background, which I thought was really cute. And I think I always oh, use watercolour for the flowers by the looks of it. So yeah, that was a really nice one. And then I think I've got this Christmas one. I think this is the last one I've got and of course there's metallic paint on the snow because just why not so yeah that's i think all i've done for yeah it's all i've done for names in the neighborhood and i'm hoping again i might come back to it next i've got um pop manga mermaids and other sea creatures by camilla derrico um i'm not sure i'm gonna bother coloring in this book anymore um there's still one or two pictures that are kind of cute but i just I think it's just a very sketchy style and I'm really just not a huge fan. There's still a couple that, like I said, I might come back and still colour in, but I just, I'm not feeling this book. <laughs> um, I do like the pictures I have done though. Um, so I have done this one and I think I just used the pastel Holbeins at the time because that's all I had, the pastel ones, but there's like lots of nice uh, stickles in there. And then I think these were the um, gelatos I used in the background. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just not a fan of the sketchy sort of style but I do still like some of the pictures so I say I still may come back and do some um this one I think this was the first one I did in here so it has got some metallic paint and stickles and metallic -y, or I don't know it's got some sort of metallic paint in the background as well I think it's just laid over top and then I have this one with the little monkeys and the octopus which is quite cute this one I did this year and I have used some of my colour shifting paint in it as well. Um, yeah, not 100% loving how it came out. Also, the I got this really weird effect with my watercolour for some reason. I didn't, no, it didn't bleed through. It was just a bit funny. And that's all I've done in there. But as I say, I'm, not, I'm just not really feeling. <laughs> Pop Manga Mermaids. I do like De um, Camilla Derrico. She does have a lovely lovely drawings but yeah, i just don't think it's quite for me anyway and next up i have zemna snova by um tomislav tomic and or tomish i'm not really sure how you say his last name i need to go on google translate so actually this one's quite easy because i have colored it all in order so far whether i will continue to do that, i don't know so i have this one which i did quite a few years ago now and there is some metallic paint on the frame then I have the double page spread, which I'm not hugely loving. I think it's just my colour choices of the cloud and the sky. And there's a little bit of metallic paint as well on that one. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I'm glad it's kind of not a super interesting page. So it's OK. And then I have my unicorn one, which I really like. I do love this unicorn page. And um, yeah, there's a little bit of metallic paint here and there that you can see. And then I have this one. So this is technically a double page spread, but I did them not at the same time. So I did this one like about two years ago and I decided I did it in the winter time. So I thought, actually, you know what? I'm going to make it wintry. And then I decided that this side I would make summery. So, um, yeah, um, I really enjoy doing that. And again, metallic elements because, you know, I just can't help myself. Plus, I feel like this book lends it. So the next one I'd have to do is this one, which is not super inspiring, but um, we'll see what I come up with. Okay, then I have 
Spock, Yes Boss, or it's Villain San in the original title, uh, also by Tom Stuff Timic, and I have done two, so I finally came back and did another picture in here. Finally. But um, the first one I did was this one, which I did quite a few years ago. And as you can see, it's lots of metallic paint. Love the colour scheme I did. And for some reason, it's just taken me an, like, an absolute age to come back to this book. So I made it a goal. I had to come and do a picture in it. And I decided to do this one, which is um, a fairy um, soldier with armour on. And I used a lot of this new metallic-y paint that I got because I thought, why not? Um, and yeah, I just love how it came out. It's very bright and, you know, bold. And I just I really like it. It's really nice. Um, so there's that. Next, I have got um, the Game of Thrones colouring book, which I have not done any more in here. Um, I, If I'm honest, I just kind of forgot about it. And because I'm using watercolour in here, sometimes I'm just not in the mood to sit and just use solely watercolour paints because it's really tricky with my cats. Like if I want to do it downstairs, which is where I normally colour, they kind of can get up where the paints are and I don't want them to, you know, eat the paint and spill the paint and the water and all that. So it can be quite tricky. So I'm going to try and see if I can do some more. So I have this one, which is the um, Stark House Crescent. Then I've got the Tully House Crescent. I had to think about what the name of that one was then. Um, I've got this one. And then the only other one... Oh, no, I've got two others in here. I forgot I have. I've got this one, which is still one of my favourite ever pages I've ever ever done, in like, especially in watercolour. Um, and then I think I have one more. Oh, it's on the next page. Which is this one, which I did last year. So it's Benjamin Stark in the snow. So yeah, that's all I've done. So I'm hoping to try and do a bit more. This one, to be fair, didn't take too long to do, but that's because there wasn't much to it really. So hopefully I will come and do some more. And then I've got Throne of Glass, the colour colouring book. I don't think I did one this year in this one. I feel like I didn't. I, maybe I did, but I feel like I haven't. So I have got this one which is the first one I did. Absolutely love how she came out. Not a huge fan of this carpety thing, but some of it is just really tricky to figure out. Also, I feel like if I was to paint him again, I probably wouldn't do that green. It'd probably just be black or blue. But I was just trying to think of other things that were a bit different, so, you know. <laughs> I can't remember how it's described in the book either. So then I have this one as well, which... um. Again, watercolours I've used on that one. And then, I think it might just be this one. And then this would be the latest one I've done. Now, I don't think I did this this year. I think I did this one last year. Um, I mean, I could be wrong, and I did do it this year, but I'm pretty sure I did it last year. So, again, that's, I think, the last one I've done in here. And I was just trying really hard to try and think of different shades of green to do his outfit. So, again, I do think the character himself probably wouldn't wear such a bright green because I feel like he'd want to try and blend in a bit more with foliage because he's like an elf. No, he's not an elf. He's a fairy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's because they've got pointy ears um, like elves. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> I hopefully again will maybe come back and do one from here. Okay, next, this is a book that I hadn't coloured in um, and I had this one for over a year and was like, I need to colour in this one. So if this is a German edition of um, A Crown of Court, no, A Crown of Thorns and Roses, I think. It's, a, it's by the same person who does Throne of Glass. It's the same author, Sarah J Maas. Um, and I finally did one in here, which was this one. Um, and I use watercolour paints, but then I actually use watercolour pencils over the top. So I kind of based it all with watercolour and then I use watercolour pencils to add in more of the colour and then activated them with water. I just found, because like I said with my cats, I found that was easier. Now, I don't necessarily love the look that I get with that. Um, I do quite still like doing it with the watercolour paints just solely on their own, but I do think here and there, that that's probably quite a good thing. I think more for like the leaves it was quite useful for. So that's fine. Um, but yeah, I think 
perhaps next time. I, I mean, also for the skin as well, actually, it did make it a lot easier by using watercolour pencils than using watercolour paints because it's quite tricky because I only have so many skin coloured colours. <laughs> it can be quite tricky, so actually it is use, more useful. But I just, the watercolour pencils just give it a slightly different look. It's not quite the same. Um, so yeah, we will see if I will endeavour to keep doing that or not. Um, okay, next is another old book, which I have meant to come back and colour in. I just haven't. And it's Clara Yang's Love in 30 Languages. So I did have a flip through it the other day. And I really do want to come back and do some more. So I have got this one of this lady. Um, and it's Love in Turkish. I feel like there's one at the start that I've missed I have. So I thought this one was near the start. And I have this one, which is Love in Serbian. I think it's Serbian. Um, and then I have uh, this Hawaii one. Now I'm really tempted to do this other Hawaii page here. So I think I might come and do that one. But yeah, I've got this one. And then I feel like I missed one as well. Oh, no. Maybe it's over here. Uh, no, I have another one. Okay. No, it must be further back then. Um, so then I have this Egypt uh, one, who she looks like Nefertiti, so it's Love and Egyptian, with the hieroglyphs. And I've got this one of this Burmese lady, um, yeah, this Burmese lady. And then I've got this one, which is Love in Polish. I did this after I went to Poland, actually. I just used super tips for that one, nothing special. And that's it, that's all I've done, so I do need to come back, <laughs> colour in that one. Um, next, I have Circle of Life by Malpamini Hats Hatsupanagiotu. Still, still try my best to try and pronounce his name. I did look up how you pronounced it. <laughs> it's not the easiest name to pronounce. Um, but yeah, anyway. So I've only done two in here. This is a relatively new book to me. And I would have done, I would have loved to have done a picture in September, but I was trying to do pictures in books I hadn't covered in for a while. So I have this one, which is a life cycle of a sunflower, which I thought was very fitting for, um, you know, summertime as the sunflowers come out. And I have used some uh, colour shifting paint. So it goes from red to orange, which is quite cool. And then just some normal metallic paint as well. And then I have got some gel pen in there too. I think I use watercolour pencils. Yeah, watercolour pencils for... The background and then I think I just use pencils normally to do the elements so I think I probably will use watercolors to do the backgrounds for these ones and then just use pencils to do that for the main details so the other one I have is this panda one and again I use watercolor pencils to do the background and then just normal pencils to do um, everything else and that's just got a little bit of metallic or pearlescent paint on it not not a lot so those are the only two I've done in here. But as I say, that's not that's pretty good considering this is a new book. I think I got it in maybe June. I think June I got it. I don't think it was July. I think it was June. So for me to have two pictures done already in there is actually saying something. So next I have my mythographic books. So I have my mythographic Paradise by Fabienne Atanasio. And I have done a few in here actually. So this was one I hadn't done many in. I didn't. I had done one and then sort of didn't feel this book anymore. And then I've seen so many people colour in it, it's kind of inspired me to colour more. So I have this one, this is the first one I did. And as you can see, I you can clearly see all these awful objects. So now I try my best to hide these awful objects because I really hate them and I feel like it has ruined this page. I mean, they do, like I've coloured them in fine, but I mean like it just doesn't go with the page and it's just weird like she's got a, a tablet by her head um so yeah I'm not a fan <laughs> I know Fabio, uh, Fabiana probably didn't want to put them in here but I think it was just the people who asked her to do the book kind of wanted it to be a thing so this one I have actually covered them up with um white Posca which you can kind of still see them but at least it's not so blaringly obvious that they're there <laughs> so I think I did this one with like Black Widows. I haven't coloured in my Black Widows in a while, actually. So I have got a bit of metallic paint, just a tiny bit. Um, and I really love the colours, the colour scheme I did for this one. I think it turned out really nice. And then I have one more that I did because I thought it felt quite summery, which was this one of like a little island. Now this one, I feel like I hid the objects much better because I used the, 
Posca again. But then um, I got um, my black um, fine liner pen, whatever I've got. And I then drew, so like here, there was like um, a rolling pin. So what I've done is I've covered it up with the white Posca, but then I've drawn back in where the petal lines would be. Whereas I didn't do that on the other one. Um, so, or then like obviously here, the leaf lines, and actually that's made it a lot easier to hide the object because I've actually drawn in, like re-inked like some of the line art that would have been there if those objects hadn't been there. And I feel like that's actually made it hide them a lot more. So I can't really see the objects as much in this picture as I could in that other one that I hid them. I can still see a couple of places where I know that they are, but yeah. And then I just used um, a metallic paint for the background because I thought, why not? So this was like really nice. I do love how I tried to do these two different colours, but they ended up being the same. <laughs> I was trying to use the same colours, but like similar colours, should I say, but they ended up going the same way. And the next one I have is Mythographic um, Wild Winter by Joseph Kattenbang. I do have Voyage as well by Joseph Kattenbang. I just haven't coloured in it, sadly. I just haven't had time. Um, unfortunately, some of my pages have kind of fallen out of this one. I have sellotaped them back in though because I didn't want them to not be in the book. So I have this one, which is the first one I did of the hummingbirds in the glass jar. And the objects aren't as bad in this one. They kind of go more with the picture. So I haven't covered them up. So like I had an olive and I had this moth and a ladybird. Like they kind of go a bit more with what the picture is. Oh, and I had a quarter there, which I left in, but yeah, they blend in a bit better. So I have obviously got some metallic paint. Um, my aim is to probably use metallic paints for most of the backgrounds. I won't use it for all of them because it depends on what they are. And this is the second one I've done, which is a um, penguins in an ice lay. And I've used like uh, this nice um, sort of green, greeny blue turquoisey kind of color for the background, which is really nice. So yeah, this one's really fun. I really enjoyed doing that one. So I've only done two in here, so I'm hoping I will come back and do some more. Okay, next I have got, and these are fairly new books, so there's not very much done in them. So this is the Nelco Neko book, A Story of Cute Cats. Oh, I think it's by Nelco Neko, I think. I'm not 100% sure, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Story of Precious Cats. Here we go. The title's down here. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure who the... Um, is I really want to do this page so the only thing I've done is I have just done these two character or these three characters should I say pages here now I do need to come and do this side and actually um I do want to color some of the pictures for Halloween in here as well um so yeah loving how it's coming out so far it's very cute and sweet I am going to change how their eyes are and I do actually fancy maybe putting a bit more white fur more maybe round the muzzle of his mouth there so I may change slightly what I've done. There's that one. Um, next, I have got Colour, Colours Make You Happy by Mickey Tacky. Or Takei. Takei? Tacky? Not sure. Um, I've only done one in here. Because again, this is a relative new book. And I did this one. Which is the Lilac Fairy. I think from Sleeping Beauty. I looked up a bunch of fairies in ballets and this is the one that it looked the most like. So I went with the Lilac Fairies from Sleeping Beauty and yeah, I really enjoyed doing this one. It was really fun. I love um, ballet, as you most of you know. So um, this book is definitely for me because there's a lot of ballet pictures in it. So I'm glad I've done that one. Okay, next is World Sketch. I don't know. The Little Mouse is called Yuyuri. It's like his sketchbook sketchbook journey I can't I've got it written down in my book I can just never remember what the name is it of it is and I did I have translated to the illustrator is but it's, again it's written down and it's not to hand that I can get so yeah it's by a person <laughs> I just can't remember their name offhand um and I've only done one and I've done this one recently which is this page as I wanted to do it for um the Halloween slash autumn period. So I thought this was a kind of a nice one because it was kind of quite autumnal with all the pumpkins. Um, so I've done that one and I'm hoping to do a few more because there's so many cute ones in here. Look at that, they're so cute. All the little bakery, I just, I love it. And also I decided at the beginning with all of these here, I've translated their names and then I wrote them in English because I'll forget what they are. So 
Um, the one we had was Farmer Jelani, so I do actually need to come and colour him in. So I think my intention would be when I colour them in, in the book, to then come back and colour them here, but I just haven't done it in that instance. Um, yeah, so there we go. There is that one. Next one to my Kirby. Now, I found out his name is pronounced Rosanes. Or Rose, yeah, Rosanes. That's how you say his name. So I love to call him Kirby Rosanes because that's how I like to pronounce his name. But I will pronounce it how it should be, which is Rosanes, which apparently in Filipino means roses. So there you go. You learned something new. <laughs> so uh, this is Imagimorphia. There's nothing new in here, people. I have only done those two or three pictures because I am lazy and I'm not feeling this book anymore. So again, you never know, I may come back to it one day, so I'm not gonna get rid of it or give it away or anything. I do still wanna keep it because one, I absolutely love this picture. This is why I bought this book for this picture solely. Loved it. Um, I think I got this from the works. So it was only like five pounds anyway. And then I have this one, which was the first one I ever did of this elephant. Mostly done with ink tents, I think. Um, yeah, it's just these kind of scenes here. I'm just not a fan of. Um, and there's a lot of that in like this book. Like I don't, I don't want to sit there and colour all that. <laughs> so I hopefully will maybe find some pictures that I don't mind in here and colour them in. Like these bug ones actually kind of okay. I just, I hate how I've done the background in them. This is when I had some really awful acrylic paint. Um, so I think I've got a tiger in here somewhere that I've done. I'm just trying to find where the tiger is. Where is it? Sorry. I can see green. Here it is. Um, so I have got this tiger and I really did like that one. That was quite fun. And um, that was the whip for the longest time, but it's finished. So that's everything in that one. Now next I have Mythomorphia and I have done another picture in here. Thank goodness. <laughs> um, so um, I have this opening bit, which is quite a few year, number of years old. This is me trying to use watercolour for the background so it this is not the best thing I've done and I'm not not really loving it I think I just didn't know what to do with half of it and you know it's quite this all this rock work took forever and a day even with watercolour but you can see I got very lazy <laughs> but it's okay this is just the um just the nameplate kind of thing it's it's not not anything special so it's fine Oh, clearly I've done nothing near the beginning. Okay, so we have this dragon, double page dragon. Absolutely love this. Would love to redo this one just to, I don't know, do different colours and things. But I do love the one I've done here. Um, and then... Oh, I think I've got one here because you can see the paper's wrinkled. I have this double page spread of the Yeti. And there's lots of stickles that you can see on the snow. This was a part tutorial that I followed by DD, like the background. Um, I think the rest of it I more or less did myself, like the snow and things, but I did follow some of it for a, in a tutorial. I don't think there's anything there. Nope. Do, do, do. Okay, here's my two dragons. I have my ice dragon, which was inspired by Game of Thrones, and then my fire dragon. Um, really love the ice one. That's my favorite one. This is still one of my favorite pictures again the thing is with these older books by Kirby we have again still some random objects this one's not as bad we just have a feather and like this card playing card which wasn't too bad uh they were randomly have got a comb there but they they weren't like there wasn't loads of them then I have this sphinx double page spread um which I do have a video of me doing part of uh, doing it part by part um so funny I do you think that the pencil <laughs> definitely you can see lots of white space on there needs a bit more of a blend but I think I was just so like I would just really wanted to try and get this done so it did take quite some time and then the one I've done this year is this one of Anubis absolutely love this one love the colors I chose there were so many amazing versions of this one and I was trying my best to kind of try and do my version of it without you know, kind of leaning into anyone else's too much. So I have got obviously some gold metallic paint on it because it just, you know, I needed to put that on there. Um, but yeah, I really, really love this one. It was really fun. And I did this, um, I think back in February. So yeah, a while ago. And then unfortunately that's the only new one I've got in here. 
um, I think this might be the last one. So again, I did this one quite a few Halloweens ago. Um, I think, oh, did I? Maybe I didn't. I feel like I did do it during Halloween. It was like a colour along. So that's the reason why I did this one. And then actually I really had fun doing something really grotesque. Because I'm not into gross, like the horror -y type things but for some reason I've rather enjoyed doing this one and making like the bloods coming out of the tree and things like that <laughs> I did enjoy doing it a dark one but yeah it's not something I would want to do all the time so yeah that's everything I've done here so actually I might come back during the Halloween period and try and uh, do one of the more sort of like there's a werewolf page in here which I thought would be quite cool I might not though I'm gonna have it in mind to try and do another one um next I've got wells within wells and I have done another one in here for this year which is nice I've only got three in here there's not very many um do, do, do. I have this one off a snow globe I think I did this during Chinese New Year last year so I did some like fireworks in the background and uh, then this is the newest one I've done which is the spaceman and he's got like I don't know, an ancient Mayan civilization <laughs> or Aztec civilization in the visor of the helmet. And then the other one I have done is this sneaker page, which I really, really like. It looks really cool. And loads of people have done this. <laughs> so it's quite cool. And there's stickles on the laces because I was like, why not? Why not have stickles on the laces? So that's everything I've done here. There are a couple of pictures I really quite like to do in here. I don't think I'm that enthused about every single page in this book. Um, but I do like some of them. Now, next I have got Fragile World, and for the longest time, I hadn't coloured anything in it, because I didn't really feel like colouring in it, and I have recently become more inspired to colour in some more of the latest, or the most the latest editions, the worlds, the all the worlds books that he's recently done. Um, because I've seen so many YouTubers colouring in them, and they've done such fantastic jobs, it's actually inspired me to also do them like colouring them so I'm really pleased because it just means they're not sitting on my bookshelf and I'm actually really enjoying doing them so I have this Queen Alexandra Birdwing which I did this was the first one I did now I then had not coloured in here for probably about a year or so um, and then I have done this back one and I've really enjoyed just the process that I used to colour this in it was really fun so I've decided how I did this which I'll explain more in my completed pictures for October video because this will make an appearance in there um I'm gonna actually try and do for all the pictures in here because I really just enjoyed it and it wasn't like a super long process and I have got a whip in here so here we go I shall have two pictures done in here at least this year who knows maybe some more um but yeah um here's some of a hippo I haven't finished it yet though but you get a little sneak peek there um, and then the last one of Kirby's books is Mythic World. And I have only done one in here. And again, my intention is to come back. Um, there's quite a few would love to actually do in here. I just haven't got around to it. So I have done this one of oh, this, some sort of centaur thing. It's a creature from Brazil, Brazil I think. Um, but I, I sort of decided to paint out a lot of these little objects that they go hunting for because I could not be bothered to colour them all in. <laughs> so I was just like I was not about that <laughs> sitting there and colouring them in so um, and I couldn't even wipe them out because it was so fine a detail so I just painted them out instead and coloured over them so um, I have got some pearlescent paint in her hair so she does look pretty cool and yeah it looks okay I don't love love the background but it was quite tricky to figure out what to do considering I had painted out everything so I think I'm going to try and use the same, same technique that I have used in the other book um to colour in this one and all the future ones because I think that would be really good okay so I'm on to my last little stack that I've got here so I have got the tram tram house Asian trowel halves Asian book okay um I haven't coloured any more in here either so this was the last page I did, which is of these koi fish. And actually I could probably do a much better job with the white now. I feel like I've gotten better at shading white. Still not perfect, but I'm better at it. Um, I think I might have done this one last year, I'm not sure. So yeah, like I need to come back and do some more here. And the other one I have is a rice paddy field. Oh look, there's a whip. <laughs> 
and now I'm not sure I particularly like what I've done here, but you know, I'm gonna have to go with it because it's what I've done. <laughs> and there's no really way of being able to sort of color over that or raise it out. So I do have a rice paddy field somewhere in here. Maybe it's a bit further in the book. Where is my rice paddy field? I know it's here somewhere. Oh, here it is. I can, I can see a bit of color peeking out. So I also have this rice paddy field, which was the first one I did. And I think I did that with ink tents. It's not a picture I would think, yeah, let's color this one in, but apparently at the time, it's just what I fancy doing. So I did that one. So yeah, hopefully I'll do a little bit more in here as well. Another one I've not colored in any more of, and I would love to get maybe some of the other books in this series, but you know what? I thought I've barely covered in this one. Let's not buy any more. <laughs> so as much as I admire the other new illustrations by Emmanuel Collin of Colourage Wild, like three, four and whatever. There's so many of them now. I'm not buying any more of them because I haven't really cut in here. So I've only got two. I've got this one and I've got this one. And I still haven't worked, found, figured out how I want to colour it. So I think I used watercolour pencils for this one. And this one was a mixture of watercolour pencils and, and pencils. Not sure if I like the effect of both of them. I think because this is grayscale, I just find it really tricky colouring in it. I'm not a huge fan of grayscale, I have to say. It's okay, but it's not my favourite. This is another one I have not coloured any more in. So this is Disney Princesses, which is a mini little book from Hatchet Hero Heroes. Um, so I have only done this La Petite Siren. Siren? Siren. Here we go. Um, which is Little Mermaid. That's all I've done. Nothing else. <laughs> um, then I have got Disney portraits and I have done at least one or two in here since I showed you last year. I have made it my mission to try and colour a bit more on these. These are just really fun to do. They're just quite simple. So I have this Prince Eric one, which I think you did see last time. I don't think this is the new one. I've got Prince Eric. Oh, I just saw Hercules. I really love Hercules. Is that my favourite? Oh, I have this Merida one. So this is a new one that I did this year. And her hair took forever and a day. And I have got my colour shifting baby Yoda paints. It goes from green to brown. It's really cool. I really like this one. And I think I did do another one. So I have my um, sadness from Inside Out. I love Inside Out. It's such a good movie. Um, oh, maybe I've just done three in here. Oh, I thought I'd done another one. I do have another book though, so it might be that I've actually done one in that other book and not this one. So I do find this one, because there's a lot of thick black lines, I'm not as big a fan of some of the pictures in here, but there are some that are really quite nice, so I do need to come back and mark in it. So next I have um, the Disney Art Deco, which is also by Hatchet Heroes. This one's got far more done in here, because I like the pictures a lot more. So I have my Sleeping Beauty, which is quite an old one. Um, and again, these are just so fun because I just I can just be a bit more basic with how I colour them and they still can look pretty cool and just chuck a load of glitter at it because, you know, why not? Why not chuck a load of glitter at it? So it looks like I really love the villains because I think I've done the most in the villain section. So I have my Maleficent, which again is an oldie kind of one. And then I have my Hades, which, oh, is he before Ashla or after Ashla? I thought he was before Ashla. Oh, maybe he must be after. Well, okay, here's Ursula. So again, this is an oldie kind of one that I did. Um, here's my Hades. And he has got stickles in his hair because, like, you know, just why not? And I have used some, a little bit of metallic paint. Not tons and tons, but a little bit. And then I've got Shere Khan. He's not in the villain section. He's a villain, but he's in the animal section of the book. <laughs> But um, there's a tiny bit of stickles in there, not much, just a little bit on the leaves. Um, but it, yeah, it was just it was just really fun to do. And I really want to do the Prince John one in here as well. Oh, and I've done the Cheshire, Cheshire Cat. <laughs> I forgot I did the Cheshire Cat. So here we go. And he's got stickles and some of my really nice metallic paint as well. And that was really fun. In fact, this is the front cover. No, it's not the front cover. I thought this was the front cover, but it's not. Actually, I've got a book that shows you all the Disney characters in and Disney's Who's Who. And literally this picture is the picture for him in the book. So it's quite nice because it was quite easy to like kind of, you know, pick the colours for it. So I really enjoy like obviously really properly shading the character in. But then I'm quite happy to just go basic with the backgrounds and just paint it. Nice colours. 
um, which is really cool. So like here, I would obviously do all this in like that quite detail, not super detailed, but you know, I do I do my shading and stuff in here. I wouldn't like just straight color it, and then I just sort of you know just do something quite straight kind of color with paint for the background. It's really fun. I love I love this book, um, and now I really do fancy doing another one in here. So I'm probably going to do that now. And then I have Coco, and I still have only really done one, and I feel so bad. Uh, I don't think I love the pictures in here as much, but I really need to do one. I think for Halloween, I should do try and do Ernesto de la Cruz, which is this guy up here. There's like some other pictures of him in that I prefer. So here's my little Miguel. I feel so bad. There's some kind of nice ones in here. I think sometimes these kind of backgrounds kind of throw me off, but I could just paint them out. Um, yeah, Ernesto. So I could try. Oh, I think this one is the one I liked. So I might try and do this one, actually. Okay, now we're on to my Rita Berman pictures. Pictures? Rita Berman books, even. Um, so I have developed into Unter de Lupe Zulande. Um, and this was the first book I think I got of hers. Um, and I have this one, the little bees. I think I got this one for Christmas, so I did a couple. Um, here's my Forever Whip, which it's just those leaves. I just don't want to sit there and colour them, if I'm honest. <laughs> It's, it's just the thought of having to do those leaves. I do want to get this one done though, because I do think it would look really nice, but yeah, it's, it's the leaves. But I noticed from doing this picture that a lot of these animals, they're, they're in it, aren't they? <laughs> um, so I really loved doing this one. This was really fun. I did this, I think in the springtime. And I just threw a load of colour on it. So I got really inspired by particularly, uh, I think, Shell's colouring. I think that's the name of her channel. I was really inspired by her beautiful pictures that she does in here. And also I really like Rita, how she colours in her books. They're always really bright and vibrant. So I decided I'm going to try and make my pictures more bright and vibrant from now on. So, um, yeah, I've got that one. And then this is a kind of fairly old one, but I really like it still. And it's got some stickles and some dual metallic hybrid uh, pen on it. This was a whip that's... Oh, hold on, I'll get back to that in a minute. I've got this little cornflower. This was just a really quick one that I fancy doing. Um, and then this was a whip, which I've erased, and I do want to come back and do it. I just want, I just wanted to try and colour this differently. I still might use the same kind of colours, but um, I'll just colour it a slightly different way, I think. And then I've got this one, which I'm, I used as a tester for some... Arteza watercolour pencils, which I have since donated because I'm not a fan. They're okay, but they're not for me. I've got plenty of others which are nicer. And then I've done this beehive one, which I have tried to do more in the style of how Rita does hers. And I really, really loved how it came out, especially with the different colours I did for the beehives, which was really cool. Um, and then I have got this one, which I did when I went to Iceland with KP. And... I think I've got one more at the back. Oh, and no, I've got two more at the back. I've just realised. So I have this um, double page spread of some cactuses, which I use my zigs to um, colour in, which is really cool. And I have got some of my metallic hybrid, or not hybrid, colour shifting paint, because I thought, why not? And then I have this one, which is the first one I did in here, which is from forever ago. And I use, like, I got Black Widows, the Black Widow, the original Black Widow pencils, for Christmas at the same time as I got this book. So I use them to colour this. So there wasn't much colour range in those when I got them. Um, so yeah, there's everything I've done in there. So I'm so pleased I've done a few more in there. Next I've got mine and also mine Spicer Gang de Jahrzeiten, which is like seasons through the years. I don't really know if I've done any new ones this year, actually. I don't feel like I have. I think I've focused on her other books. I have this one, which I'm not a fan of. This one, which is okay. <laughs> It's okay. I feel like I would do it differently now. And then I have this double page spread that I did for Easter last year. And there is glitter paint kind of, I don't know if it's going to show. I feel like I can't get a good angle. I think you can kind of see it there, which I kind of did for like the bees. So there's that one and it has kind of bled through. I do kind of want to do this one. I think it's going to use the Echo Line paints. And as I said, they're notorious for bleeding through pages. Oh, I've got one here, which I think I did last summer. Which is a nice, bright, coloured one. 
Then I have this one, which I did two years ago. I do feel like it could do with a bit of a background to it, but I'm not going to go back and do it now at the time. But then as I coloured it on holiday, I didn't have any materials I could use for background, really. I mean, yes, I could use pencil, but I'm not about that, people. Sitting there and doing a pencil background, no, no. <laughs> We'd be there forever and a day. Um, so I think, oh no, there should be some more. I've just realised there'll be some Christmas ones in here. So I don't think I've really coloured anything in the autumn section in this book. So clearly I need to go and do that. So I have got this one, which was a advent calendar. I still need to do this page with a boot opposite it. Um, yeah, so I've done that one and there's stickles and things on there. And I've got this one with a blue for the Christmas because I thought, why not? And then I've got this one, which was the first one I did in here. And there is no stickles on this one. I would have thought I would have put some on there, but apparently no. In fact, I don't know why I've not used white gel pen to sort of white gel pen me with all these snowflakes. Oh well, clearly at the time, it's just not what I was wanting to do. Um, so yeah, yeah, sad I've not done anything in here this year. So I think as it's autumn, I need to find some autumn pictures to do in there. Um, okay, oh, I've just realised I'm putting these books on the wrong pile. There we go. And then I've got mine in Risa de Europa. Um, I have done a few in here, not many. I probably have done one this year, but I can't remember. It might have been like the end of last year, so like October, November, December time I did something. So I have this one, which is the first one I did. Don't really love my colour choices. I think I find it really tricky, especially with clothes like what colours to do I just I find it really really hard to figure out what I want to do for that so there's that one and then I oh I did this one this year so I have done one I did this one in the springtime so yeah if it, I feel like it could do with a bit more brightness to it it's a little bit dull How, now I'm looking at it I feel like it could I could have made it look cooler but it's okay it's not terrible or, or anything like that but could have made it look nicer and then I have this one which I did last autumn and maybe I'll do this page this autumn but again it, it will see because I have so many pages I want to do and I'm not always necessarily wanting to colour in the season all the time like the whole month if I just did all terminal pictures I would go mad um, and then I have got mine in Rise of Dash, Dash, um, Asian my favourite book of hers I love this one and I have done one picture in here because I've only just recently got it. And I do need to do this packing page, right? But hopefully it will look better than the other one. I have done this one, which is of the um, so, uh, no, Orient Express. And again, some of my colour choices I'm not super happy with. I do think the picture overall looks lovely together. But um, it was like hard to figure out how what colours I wanted to use to do this and needed to go with everything I had done. So I wouldn't, I didn't really want to colour on these colours, but then I didn't know what else to do. And I do feel like, I like the, the blue on the train, but I don't feel like some of it has gone, but my favourite bit is this arch and the lamp post and the clouds. That, that's my favourite bit. So I'm really pleased with that bit at least. So, um, you know, and there's a little bit of metallic paint on there, just a little bit. Um, so all oh, glitter paint as well apparently so that's everything I've done in there and then I'm on my last book people and then it's some pdfs so here is the flower year by Layla Dooley and I have managed to do another picture in here this year woohoo so I do need to try and get some more done in here again it's always my intention it just never goes to plan so I don't think I've coloured anything oh I have coloured something in January I didn't think I had so I have this one now I mostly I think I've only used watercolour pencils or ink tents in here so that's how I kind of like to do the pictures in these books so I have this one in the February section which is my buff month so okay let's not forever flick every single page otherwise we'll be here forever Okay, nothing really there. So I've got this July one, which um, obviously I did some Julys ago. I really want to colour that poppy one and I love poppies, or well, colouring in poppies anyway. So this is the latest one I have done, which is this one, which I did for September. Um, 
And then I've got any more for September. I know I've got some for October, which I'm skipping apparently. So I have this one that I did in October. This was the first page I ever did in here. And I have also done this double page spread with a whole bunch of leaves, which, you know, colouring leaves, ooh, sometimes you're just a bit like, I'm sick of it now. And I have got this one as well, which was just more of a simpler one to do. I've got this one of some different kind of um, Christmassy type, you know, trees that we might find. And then I have just done this one, this like mistletoe. So that's everything I've done. So as you can see, there's a combination of some small ones, which really don't take any time to do. And then some that would take a little bit longer to do so. Um, I try to do a little bit and then a few double page spreads as well, which I, you know, do try my best to try and get to. So that's everything that for the flower year. So next I have got my PDFs. Now I don't know if I've done any new PDFs this year. I've printed some out. I printed out, Rita did a, she did like a sort of, for her new book, she did like a little, like mini pictures put together, which I really wanted to colour, I just haven't got round to. Um, and I'm not sure if I've done, I've done some Mystic Art Mirror ones, but I don't think, mm, no. Again, some of these I have probably done, I just probably did them like September, October now. This is really annoying me. I'm gonna move the camera back slightly so I can move this forward and not have that band of light that's coming across. But I don't wanna draw the other curtain, otherwise it'll be too dark. So I have got this one which is um, The Snow Queen, and this is by Mystic Art Mirrors. This was her um, fairy tale set that she did. Um, I wouldn't mind doing this one again, actually, and just doing different colours, but I love how the fur on the white fox, how that came out. It looks amazing. So, yeah, let's say an okay one. Um, I have printed most of these out, actually, so... And this is the only one I've done so far out of that one. Now I can't get it back in. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to put it on my lap. It's such a weird angle for me to try and put it back in. So, oh, come on. Get back in the wallet. You can do it. There we go. Done it. Um, so, yeah. I have got, like I said, most of those printed out. So I should really get back to it. This is just... Um, the cover book so because I've got PDF so I can know which book is which so this one I'm not going to bother taking it out it's just one it is obviously from this one Toc Tocta de Mir cover book I think Daughters of the Sea I think is this one I think so this one I actually copied onto watercolour paper um, and I used watercolours on which was really fun it's okay it's nothing special and then we've got Fairytopia, which I haven't done anything in, apparently. And this is Ocean Dreams. So this one, I think, is the one I've done the most in. So I have this one of this really awesome uh, mermaid. Now, I'm really sorry, but I can't be bothered to take these out because it was such a nightmare trying to get that one that I did take out to show you back in. So I'm just going to have to show you them in the wallet. So hopefully, because I haven't got the light streaming on, you won't see the plasticky bit as much. So I have this one as well. And there are stickles on that one. Unfortunately, you might not be able to see them the best. Um, a lot of these are buddy colours with KP, by the way. And then I've got this one, which I really like doing. I really do love her pictures. They're just so fun. This definitely was a, a buddy colour. I haven't printed out the um, book cover. I need to do that. I might do that um, when I go to my parents to stay with them for a week. So <laughs> I might as well do that then. So this is the, this is a fairy tale book one as well. So this is a different one. So this is more like the Disney princesses, um, but her version of them, whereas the other one was like fairy tales, which is kind of somewhat based on the Disney ones, but also not. And then the only other one I've done from that one is this Rapunzel one. I have got a Moana one printed out, so I need to colour that one in. And then from a Harry Potter one, I still have only done Ginny. I have got Snape printed out, I just haven't done him. And then I've got this Christmas one that she did. Um, sorry, this is Fabiana Atanasio. Right, this is Fabiana Atanasio, so now we're on to her pictures, okay? Um, so this is one that she did for Christmas time. And then I've got my Little Mermaid one. I've got my Sleeping Beauty one which I'm really sorry, but it's just difficult for me to show you the right way around. And then this was just like something Joanna Basford came out. She did her own advent calendar. 
Um, so I have done that one and it was really fun to do. Ow! My cat just put his claws on me. That's really, that really hurts, Apollo. Um, and this is the other side. So that was a really fun one to do, especially because I printed this on like tone grey paper. It was really nice to get the really bright, vibrant um, colours on there. And there's just stickles. I thought the background's going to have stickles on it because why not? This is one from Rita Berman a few years ago. This is another Rita Berman one. Again, I think from a few years ago. Then I've got Christine Karen. I've got this fairy, which I did for like a colour along thing. This one, I can't remember who. Oh my goodness, can I show it to you? No. Maybe this way. This one, um, I can't remember who the artist is, but it's a PDF one that I have. And I have only coloured this one and I need to do the other ones. Um, and then this is one I just got off Pinterest. It's just printed on normal copy paper. Um, and then this one is colouring with Olivia. She gave this to me as a freebie to colour. She drew it herself. Um, and that was really nice of her to do. And that was really fun. So I've done that one. So yeah, nothing new in the PDFs, I'm afraid. Um, I have, like I said, I've got a few cut printed out. I just haven't come and, like, you know, coloured them in yet. I think it's because sometimes I really just fancy doing a picture in my book instead but anyway we've done it guys that's everything i've ever colored updated for 2022 so um yeah i'm gonna have to try and see what i can get done in books i haven't colored in for a while books i haven't colored in at all um and obviously there'll be new books that i'll buy i've just got Joanna basford's new book rooms of wonder so obviously i'll no doubt color in some of that um, and then like I hopefully we'll do a few more PDFs as well. Probably won't be tons, but I have got a whip upstairs actually that I really need to do finish and actually it happens to be an autumnal one. So I really feel like I ought to finish that one. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I've coloured. Hope it brought you some joy, entertainment, maybe some inspiration to help you. I know I get inspired by looking at other people's um, completed pictures. I find it really, really helps. And I quite enjoy sitting and watching them whilst I colour. So I hope everybody's having a good day and I will see you soon. Bye.